If you want to learn how to make these three materials using Blender's new principled shader, then you came to the right place. Keep watching. What's up guys? Let's make some materials. We're going to be making these three right here, as you saw in the intro. And it should be pretty quick, so let's get started. All I have set up here is a little ball to see what I'm doing. And for lighting, I have an HDRI set up. If you want to learn how to set up an HDRI just like this one, I have a tutorial on that, and I'll put a link in the description. So I don't want to see that for now, so what I can do is go over here into my Render tab, and down here under Film, I'm going to just check Transparent, and that's going to allow me to focus a little easier on the material itself. So to make my first material, I'm going to hit this New button down here, and I don't want the Diffuse, I want to use the Principled Shader, so I Press X to delete that with it selected. Shift A, Shader, Principled, and drag that in there. If you don't have the Principled Shader, you probably need to download a more recent version of Blender. I'm using 2.79. So it starts you off with a white material, and we want to make it blue. You can make it whatever color you want, but I think this blue looks nice. So that's about it. It looks pretty good right there. What you may want to mess with is the roughness. If we drag that all the way down to zero, it is not rough, zero roughness, very shiny. And if we drag it all the way up, it's starting to look more like a rubber, a very rough material, if you will. So we'll leave it at something like 0.7. I think that looks pretty good. And we'll name that blue. So to make a new material, I'm going to hit this plus sign. And again, select that, X delete it, Shift A, Shader principled. Drag it back in there and we're going to name this one glass. Let's make that material next. So the most important thing here is going to be this transmission slider. So I'm going to drag that all the way up and that's basically going to allow this material to transmit light like glass of course. So once that's all the way up it's not looking quite right and that's because this roughness is still set at the default, the default 0.5 so I'm going to drag that down to zero, and that gives me much sharper reflections, a little more like ice or glass, you know, something like that. And when you make a new material with the principled shader, it's not going to give you a perfect white. It gives you a little bit of a slightly off-white, a little gray, which may work fine depending on what exactly you're trying to do. You know, you can obviously change the color of this, make some, you know, colored glass. But um, if you want this to be, you know, super transparent, then you need to you know you need to pick a perfect white here. So that's it for that one. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and um, and you can actually do this over here too. Um, so the last two times, clicking this plus sign will make a brand new material. But if you go over here into the Material tab and you hit this plus sign, it'll instead of making a new material, it will make a duplicate of the material you already have. So instead of having to delete the diffuse shader like we did the last two times, I'm just gonna hit this plus sign here and that's gonna create a duplicate. So now we can rename that to orange and we're gonna make that material next. So um, since I duplicated it, all the factors stayed exactly the same. So we need to get rid of this transmission that we added last time. So I'm gonna take that back down to zero. And then let's go ahead and set the color something like that. And we want the base of this material to have a metallic appearance. So I'm gonna drag this metallic slider from zero all the way up to one. And when you're working with materials, you usually want this to either be one or zero. There's not really any in between. Gets a little bit into the science of how that all works and I'm not gonna go into that. But just know that if you're going for realistic materials, you want this to be either zero or one. So I'm leaving that at one and uh, it doesn't look quite like car paint, so what we need is a little bit of roughness here. But now you can see we've lost our sharp reflections. And what does that what that does what does that in the real world is a clear coat. And we have a slider for just that in the principal shader. So I'm going to drag that all the way up, and that basically gives us two layers. So we've got the rougher metallic material underneath, which is giving us a nice diffuse reflection. And then on top of that, there is a clear coat that's giving us essentially a second roughness value. So we have, um, you can see the HDRI kind of being reflected here. We've got these, we've got these sharp, shiny reflections coming from the clear coat. 
and then underneath we're catching a lot more light with this roughness value of 0.4 and that gives you um, a nice looking car paint type material you can do all sorts of other stuff with the clear coat value of course but car paint is usually what people use as the most common example so that's about it. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future, then subscribe to my channel and you'll be the first to see those. Not sure what I'll do next. Maybe more materials, maybe something else. Please let me know in the comments if you have suggestions and uh, maybe you'll see your special tutorial just for you sometime in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.